This is the KC9 VKV QSO VLAC net, and now we'll check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on board. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire. Uh, Charlie, this is uh, KC9 VKV. Good afternoon, sir. Real fine, uh, Jim. Beautiful copy in here. Uh, about uh, 15 over direct. I am on my cloud warmer, a three element wire beam, firing straight up in the air. Uh, it's designed for a uh, short skip and high angle. However, you're doing uh, very, very uh, well uh, on it. Uh, so uh, it's a beautiful day. The temperature outside now uh, on this uh, December. Uh, uh, third is 18 degrees. Winds are moderate from the uh, northwest, and we had uh, probably about uh, half to an inch to an inch of snow early uh, this morning. But you sound uh, you sound very very uh, good, and I hope you're copying me uh, at, down at your place. KC9 VKV K1 G George Zebra London. Roger, Roger, Charlie, going through uh, Milford, uh, and uh, in Milford you're doing probably about a 20 over, very, very nice signal. About a 20 over, very, very nice signal. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for that. We could have a major snowstorm on our hands around uh, Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night, and I'm not sure, but we're going to have light snow turning to rain on Monday on Monday that um, uh, <laughs> uh, that makes a mess by the way I have a uh, previous recording of Captain Mike when he left here uh, and uh, a day or two later it was flying west I believe he was somewhere out over western Nebraska when I recorded uh, this uh, here it is That was Captain Mike uh, on his first trip west after leaving, but he's off the air, I think, until about the 28th. Uh, uh, he's on sort of a, a short uh, vacation. He's off until the 28th of the month. So I'll turn it back to you on this bitter cold day with the wind blowing at 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, KC9 VKV K1GZL, if you can still hear me. Oh, perfect, Charlie. I'm glad that's you up there in 18 degrees and not me. <laughs> I fall apart somewhere below uh, 32 degrees. I, I, I don't know what it is. I wanted to ask you about your antenna. Now, what happened to your main, uh, your main antenna? What happened to your main, uh, your main antenna? Well, what happened to my 40-meter quad is uh, two things. Two things, uh, Jim. Uh, for one thing, I had a uh, uh, two by fours and four by uh, four by four to start with. Two by fours connected to uh, you know on a a pole I had up about uh, 35 feet, 35 feet, and that was holding up uh, the uh, south uh, southeast side or the south side of the 40 meter uh, quad. Now I found. Uh, a couple of months ago that was broken that was not collapsed but it was in a crazy uh, angle uh, only being supported by about two uh, two by fours and uh, and with the weight and everything else 
uh, I did have uh, the 40-meter uh, uh, quad running over the top of that and over to the major pole uh, or the center of the uh, quad director, but that was on a crazy angle. Obviously, that had collapsed. That had uh, collapsed because my SWR uh, had uh, uh, dropped uh, way, uh, way down the band way down the band, but still, it, uh, it, it further down the band, it was still about a 2.5 to 1 SWR. In other words, it's not what, you know, advisable to use uh, that. However, uh, then uh, I tuned uh, the band a day or two later. I had a dead short, absolutely dead short to zero. Then I found out why a day or two later, uh, uh, the uh, bottom end of the director, uh, not the director, but the driven element, which goes up from the side of the quad on the north uh, side down to the uh, uh, and down to uh, the ballon, had broken off at the ballon, completely broke off, and uh, it was hanging down into uh, the snow, into uh, the snow. So the only antenna I could use on 40 meters is the present one, the three-element wire quad uh, pointing north. Uh, I'm going to be ordering a ballon, a ballon for uh, this. Uh, I'll have to replace the ballon. It's a mess with glue in there and everything else. Uh, it looks like it was uh, really broken off in a very bad side, the uh, north side. Um, I had to, uh, uh, you know, that is going to be a mess to try to correct. So I'm going to order a new a BK5W, whatever it is, uh, and get uh, and replace that, or at least try to uh, replace that. I'm still suffering a little bit of, of uh, uneasiness uh, uh, left over from this valve uh, heart uh, replacement. I did have uh, uh, two months or so ago, so I'm still uh, coming uh, out of that. So if it isn't one thing, Jim, <laughs> it's another. Uh, but uh, that la makes life interesting. KC9VKVK1GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, yes, uh, that does uh, keep one uh, uh, interested in <laughs> moving along. I, I wish you a speedy recovery on your medical situation. I was just wondering, um, what is the possibility, now I know that your age is uh, uh, up there just a little bit, what is the possibility of maybe getting some assistance uh, from your local uh, ham radio club? Uh, from your local uh, ham radio club? Well, we don't have a ham radio club up here. There are not too many uh, uh, ham radio operators, and some of them are not in the uh, the best of uh, condition. I don't want anybody else uh, working on it. I'll just have to uh, be patient uh, until I can get at, get at it. By the way, your signal on this cloud warmer, which is certainly has no gain down where you are at all, but hearing you directly, here's just a little bit of your own signal. 30. And I actually caught the last part of your uh, TSO there with Jim last night. But, uh, okay, right here. Uh, 32 degrees. I, I, I don't know what it is. I wanted to ask you about your antenna now. What happened to your main, uh, your main antenna? Okay, uh, Jim. Well, look, I won't hold it any longer. We will try our very best to, uh, to get on uh, next week. Uh, but uh, in the middle of the week, we may have a fairly decent snowstorm up here. And uh, we've had now about 29 uh, inches of snow for the season, and that's considerably uh, below uh, normal. And uh, all of that, except for a tenth of an inch in October, uh, is uh, all we've had uh, this season. And as I talk to you, there's a, probably about uh, seven inches left on uh, the ground. So that is way down from what it uh, should be. Uh, back to you, and uh, you really are coming in good. KC9, VKV, K1, GZL. Whoops, there goes my voice. 
<laughs> Roger and Charlie. Well, 73 up that way, sir. Uh, thanks for dropping by. As always, a most, uh, most interesting uh, situation. And we'll get uh, Captain Mike uh, uh, live on tape uh, here uh, coming in the next uh, uh, week or so. And that's a good sign. So, 73, Charlie. So, that's a good sign. So, 73, Charlie. All right, 73, Jim, and keep up the good work you're doing. k one g that all is clear. This is Aquila Charlie 9, Victor Aquila Victor, and my name is Jim, uh, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And uh, we're recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. KC9VKV logbook on a YouTube search and that will bring up this uh, QSO vlog recording it'll be number one uh, in a series of 1900 so and the first uh, 50 or so are most interesting also you might uh, check those out uh, as you look for this recording so uh, you'll go to YouTube and do a call letter search KC9VKV followed by the word logbook uh, this is uh, KC9VKV with the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGnet. If you have a radio that you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio that you want to check out, give me a shout. <laughs> 